Hi Year 11s, I'm trying something new. I'm making some videos for you to help you out with your maths. So today we're going to talk about volume of a prism. And a prism is a 3D shape that has a face that goes the same all the way through. So here I've got a cuboid and hopefully you know that it's got a rectangular face and it's the same rectangular face that I could push essentially all the way through that particular shape. Um, I've also got a triangular prism here um, and you can see that the triangle is the face of the shape and I could push that all the way through the prism. And over here I've got a cylinder, poorly drawn cylinder, but a cylinder nonetheless. And I could take the circle, which would be the face, and I could make that, that would be the, the face that goes all the way through the shape. So we're gonna talk about how to find the volume of a prism. And what you want to do to find the volume of a prism is you want to find one of the faces. So we're gonna find this face right here. And I'm going to take the area of that face. Now, that face right there is a rectangle. It's four centimeters by six centimeters. So the volume is going to be the area of the face times by the length. So the area of this orange shape here times by the length of the shape. So we're going to have four, four centimeters across here for the length, times by six, the width of the rectangle, four times six, that's the area of the face. Um, so that is 24 centimeters squared. So that was the area. And then the volume is going to be the area times by the length, which is going to give us 72 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's try it for a different shape. So over here I've got a triangular prism. I've got a triangle which is the face of this particular prism. So here's the triangle here. So this time I need to find the area of the triangle and times it by the length. So the volume is going to be area of the face, which is the triangle, times by the length. So in this particular case, the area of the triangle is 8 times by 6 divided by 2, which is 24 centimeters squared. So the volume is going to be 24 times by 10, so that's the length going backwards. So that's 240 centimeters cubed. Okay, the area of the face, the face is the triangle. It couldn't be this rectangle because the rectangle doesn't go all the way through the shape. If I wanted to, I could take this triangle here and push it all the way through and it would come out on the other side of the prism. Okay, let's look at one more example. So over here, I've got a cylinder. Um, the area of the face of a cylinder is a circle. So here's the circle right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of the circle and times it by the length. So the volume is going to be the area of the circle, pi times by the radius squared, so that's the area of the face, and then times by the length. I don't have my calculator here, so I'm just going to leave my answer in terms of pi. I've got 25 from the 5 squared times by pi times by 10, which gives me 250 pi centimeters cubed. Okay, so those are three examples about how to find the volume of a prism. It's the area of one face.